Hey, welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about the how to find a potential function given a conservative vector field. Now recall, if a vector field is conservative, we know that the vector field is equal to the gradient. So we know that our vector field, remember, is going to be equal to the gradient of our function. Knowing that the gradient comes from the partial derivatives, we can use antiderivatives to get our potential function. So in other words, we're going to try to get the OG back, the original function back. So given derivatives, going backwards to the function itself. We did this last year in Calc 1 and 2 when we talked when we solved differentials. So let's take a look. Let's delve into this. We want to find the potential function for the following. So we're given this vector field as 2xy in the i direction and x squared minus y in the j direction. Now remember this is a list of partial derivatives for us. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that the vector field at first is conservative. So if this is my partial with respect to x, there's my partial with respect to y. So we're going to see the partial of m with respect to uh, y. So that's our first one. If I take the derivative here with respect to y, we get 2x. And if we take the partial of n with respect to x, that's here, we're going to also get 2x. So yeah, that checks out. This is going to be conservative. Yay, us. All right. So now that we know that this vector field is conservative, we are able to solve for the potential function. We will have to integrate. So step one, we want to integrate either of the partial derivatives with respect to its corresponding variable. So I'm picking the 2xy. Now remember, the first partial derivative right here is with respect to x. So when I integrate it, I'm only integrating with respect to x, not y. We did this earlier this year, there's an earlier video, if you need to take a look at that. And when we integrate this one, we're going to get x squared y plus some constant with respect to y. So we can get a constant there with respect to y. And that's what we wind up with here. And so let's see here. This is some constant with respect to y. We talked about this in a previous video, you might recall. The reason why this is with respect to y is because if I took the derivative with respect to y, anything that has just a y in it or just a constant just becomes zero. So we don't know what c of y is. And that's what we have to solve for next. We have to find c of y. The c of y's. <laughs> I'm lost in the c of y's. Like, why am I here? Why am I learning this stuff? Because it's fun and you love it. All right, so, so let's talk about how we find that constant. Since the vector field is conservative, we know that the derivative of our integral with respect to y, so if I took the derivative of my integral here with respect to y, that has to equal the derivative of the partial derivative. Uh, equal, that has to equal, sorry, the other partial derivative. Well, what does that really mean for us? This says if well, we take the derivative with respect to y of our function that we just found, x squared y plus c of y, that has to equal the other partial derivative. This, the partial, of the partial with respect to y. And of course, this comes from our vector field. Why is that the case? Well, it's the case because that's the definition. Remember that the gradient has to equal the vector field. So this, I am, since I'm integrating this one and I know it's conservative, I know that the derivative of my function with respect to y has to equal the partial of my vector field with respect to y because this is the part of my gradient. If I took the derivative of this, that's my gradient, and the like parts have to equal into our vector field. So we can just take the derivative here with respect to y, be careful, and we just get x squared plus c prime of y equals, well, f of y here is just this x squared minus y. And there's my partial. So notice the x squareds here cancel, and they better cancel. If they don't cancel, you done messed up, A. Ray Ron. The only thing you should be left here with is the c prime of y. That's all you should be left with. If it wasn't conservative, we would wind up with some weird thing. It wouldn't make any sense for us. So therefore, I can say that c prime of y, the derivative of c of y, is equal to negative y. But remember, we wanted c of y, so we have to integrate that derivative with respect to y. I just have to integrate this now. And that becomes negative y squared over 2 plus c. 
our constant. Now this constant is a number, we can't find that just yet. So now we're going to write a function. So our new function, f of x, y, would equal, well we start up here, the part with respect to x, x squared y, plus that c of y we found, which is negative y squared over 2, plus c. And of course if you just want to write that as x squared y, minus y squared over 2, plus c, you're cool to do that, that's fine. So let's take a look at another example here. Here we're given the vector field, um, xy equals y squared i plus 2xy plus 4y cubed in the j direction. So again, there's my partial with respect to x for my gradient. There's the partial with respect to y in my gradient. First, check to make sure it's, con it's conservative. If I take the partial of here, remember this is m, that just becomes 2y, and that's n of course. The partial of n with respect to x, that also becomes just 2y. So yep, this is conservative. Always check conservative first. So once we know it's conservative, now we can, of course, integrate. So let's go ahead and do that. Which one would you prefer to pick? Well, you have to pick one of them. And if I look here, honestly, this just looks easier to integrate with respect to x than this one does with respect to y, so I'm going to pick my y squared one. It doesn't matter which one you pick, you're going to get the same answer in the end. So step one, I am going to, to find my potential function, I am going to integrate y squared with respect to x. Now why with respect to x? Remember this is already the derivative with respect to x. And that's going to give us x y squared plus my constant with respect to y, c of y. So next, step two, well what does this tell me? Well, that the derivative of my gradient, my derivative of my function, this is another way to write it, has to equal the derivative of y from the, from the vector field, the partial of y with respect in the vector field. So in other words, so when I take that derivative here, this becomes two xy plus c prime of y, that's going to equal my fy from my grave, my vector field. 2xy plus the derivative with respect to y, 12, whoops, sorry, that's, not, that's already messed up, that's already the derivative, plus 4y cubed. And again, these better cancel out, otherwise you messed up. So c prime of y would equal, and if I take this becomes 4y cubed. But remember, we want to find the function, c of y, not the derivative. So I'm going to integrate this with respect to y, and we get y to the fourth plus our constant. So now to write my function, I'm just going to combine everything. Take my function, which I already have, xy squared plus c of y, which we said was y to the fourth plus our constant. And there is our function right there. All right, so I'm gonna go and pause here. Now I'm gonna have another video. Please go to it where I'm gonna do a couple more of these if you need to need more practice.